I'm gonna be showing you how I do my hologram. So you click on that little thing in the corner, then you go to Sony Chroma here, then you have to click Add, then OK. Then I already have a blue screen ready, so just yeah. And then click on the picture, click on the eyedropper tool, and click on the picture. Then click on it again if that ha doesn't happen. Then click Show Mask Only, and you have to have the background all white and the person all or the background all black and the person all white and then once you got that done all right then you drag the not blue screen picture under the blue screened one then you click on the little thing again then you go up and you click that little thing then you go to Sony color corrector you have to click add and okay then you pick stuff that looks like hologram like blue a little bit of purple so let that happen I use a little bit of purple there. Then I go down to light blue. X that out. And not done yet. Then you click on that again. You click on that. Then you go down to Sony TV Simulator. Click Add and OK. Then you can make it look however you want it to look. I'm just doing it how I'm used to doing it. So... Yeah, I don't really like much static and archipential or whatever. Gill, I don't know how to pronounce it. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, you have to have Sony Vegas Pro 9, or and not, you don't have to have Sony Vegas Pro 9, but you have to have, like, some version of Sony Vegas. It's about $700. I got it for free, though. And there you have it. Just. I'll show you how it should look. There you go. Thanks for watching, and bye.